Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. It's Rachel from Paper Ventures. Um, just quickly before I do a little introduction, I just want to tell you what I'm doing right away. I um, used my Silhouette Cameo and I just put some hearts on the page and I'm going to back it with some different colors of paper, but that's basically what I did. I just put hearts. I did some kind of falling off the page and um, uh, yeah, just to, I don't know, I don't know why, I just thought that looked cool. But anyway, so yeah, today I'm doing a scrapbook layout. This is a picture of me a couple weeks before going to Florida. I bought this new hat from Chapters that was on sale, and it was beautiful, and I was excited to wear it to Florida, and I was just so ready to go on our trip. I was ready for the sun. I was ready for the heat. I'm sick and tired of the cold Canadian winters. I love Canada, but man, I'm lucky to be in probably the most southern part of um, Canada you can get. So I am pretty lucky in that aspect, but I'm still like, oh, just please bring me the summer weather. So anyway, so I took a picture of me wearing that hat and posted on Instagram and was like, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Let's go. I'm wearing this hat every day until we go. I'm desperate. Um, anyway, I was really looking forward to that trip, and it was an amazing trip. It was really, really lovely. Um, okay, so now I'm just putting some patterned paper on to the back so that these hearts are different fun colors, and using washi tape to just simply tape it on. Um, just washi tape I don't use much because I wouldn't want to use my favorite washi tape on stuff like that. It's the stuff where you have, it's the tape where you have like millions of like meters of it and you're like I don't know what to do with all I don't know how I'm ever gonna get through all this and it's not even like the nicest anyway so uh, next I took one of the heart shapes from the cutout from the silhouette like cutout that I did um, it was the biggest heart I think and I'm gonna use some of my old um, like thickers or whatever to just kind of create my own piece of embellishment um, so yeah, I'm just going to put these letters into it. In this, it looks like they're silver, but they're actually gold. So I don't know why the lighting is weird like that. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. You get the idea. Um, I think that it turned out really cute. I like the way it turned out. It was just a fun way to uh, use my scraps wisely because otherwise, what would I have done with those heart cutouts? Because they're just kind of plain white. And then also a way to use my thickers in a way that, you know, I use the Q's and the numbers and the X's and the periods and the Z's. Anyway, so um, just kind of using that up efficiently and for a good cause. So lots of hearts on this layout because I was very, very, very excited and just loving, loving looking forward to a vacation even though it was just a few days, but it was incredible. All right, so um, now I'm just outlining it in black and just to make it stand out a little bit more. If I were to do this again, I think I would have put watercolor on it to make it a different color, but um, I don't regret too much. Just an idea thinking back, looking back now, what I, what I may have done instead. All right, so now I'm going to put some watercolor on the back. I am probably, yep, I'm going to use the packaging technique and I'm spraying some water on the paper using my watercolor brush and just kind of smushing it down using some light pink, trying to match to the pink that I use in the floral background paper as much as possible. Yep, just mixing it up and smushing it on. It turned out a lot lighter than I anticipated but I don't, it's not a big deal. I still, I still like the way it turned out. So I think it looks very nice. Not too much, just very, very simple. Very simple. Um, nope, but I'm adding more. Oh yes, some blue, I think, because I'm going to use some blue ephemera, I believe. So that's why I went with blue. Now I should have waited till the pink dried. I think, and then put the blue on so they didn't mix too much, but um, you know what? I'm not too worried. If I worry about the little things, then I'll get nothing done. 
I'll just be worrying. So I'm just using some of the ephemeras from the, like pieces of ephemera from the ephemera pack um, to back my photo and a gold doily, which also doesn't really look that gold, but it is gold. And I'm using these stickers, these phrase stickers. I don't know exactly what they're called. I'm assuming they're from, what was it, Pink Paisley's or something, Take Me Away collection, because there's the phrase, Take Me Away, which is not super common. So that's what my best guess is. I can't quite remember right now, but that's my best guess. And that's going to be my title, because it fit so extremely perfectly with what I was feeling. I was like, just take me away. Just let me go. Let me go on vacation. I'm so ready for it. My job is... Um, it is a fantastic job. I love, love, love my job, but um, it carries a lot of responsibility. So it's when you can have a few days where you don't have any responsibilities, it's wonderful. Um, but I do seriously love my job. Anyway, so, um, you know, it's one of those things where you love your job, but you do need a break from it so that you can feel refreshed when you come back and feel good and even more pumped about where you work and what you do. So, um, so yeah, I, I'm sorry, you can't really see the embellishment cluster I was working on on the top right. Hopefully I move that so you can see, I don't know. Um, so I'm using some old chipboard, I've done this before, using some old chipboard to um, prop up my photo to give it some dimension, which I've done in a lot of my videos. Um, and I think it's great. I haven't spent a penny on, um, on what's it called, foam paper or um, anything like that, like foam dots or anything. I haven't spent a penny on that because I used my old chipboard, so I love it. Okay, here we go. So I started with that and I ended up changing it because I cut it off at the wrong spot. Oh well. Um, but I do put on that banner with that heart for now and then I do change it. And I've got that cute little birdie. These are from the Gather Collection. Sorry, I totally forgot to say that. These are from Great Paper Maggie Holmes Gather Collection. Pretty much all this stuff. Almost all of it. All of the chipboard and the papers are from that collection. So really cute, really beautiful colors. Um, really soft. And um, I was trying to, to describe Maggie Holmes' style to my husband one time. It's kind of like vintage, but like modern vintage, which doesn't make any sense. But if you're a Maggie Holmes fan, I think you know what I'm talking about. Like, it's not like Tim Holtz vintage, where it's like black and white and and stuff, but it's like pretty pinks and not like, I don't know, does that make sense? <laughs> anyway, um, that's kind of what I feel like it's like. Um, yeah, so now I think I need some um, wood veneers. I don't know, do I add any? I don't know, we'll see. It's on there for now, but I don't remember if that's that stays there. Maybe it does. I like, kind of like that. Like butterflies flying away and like take me away, butterflies flying away. I kind of like that. I hope that stays there. Um, I don't really know where those butterflies are from. I feel like they're from Joann's or something like that. Um, and now, of course, the enamel dots. I can't go lay out without them, so got to add lots of those. Oh, yes, I do add this paper clip. That just kind of points up, so I think it like takes your eye from the bottom left to the top right, if that makes sense. Your eye kind of goes up that way. And then I also felt like, oh, there we go, I fixed that doily. I felt like um, the, the, um, the layout was kind of just floating there, like it wasn't really anywhere. So... What am I doing here? I think, am I trying to pick some kind of background? Yeah, I'm like, what can I, what can I use to make, like, stabilize this? So I'm like, I'm going to go with black lines. That's what I end up going with. I love the messy, whimsical feeling of it. And just like, I don't know. I just think it looks really cute. I like it. Uh, so this is the final product. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for checking me out and supporting me. We will talk soon. Bye.